it's Lily Van Hefeweiz and I am back with a hairstyling video. I'm going to show you four pin up hairstyles, two down, two up. We're going to start with hair that's very dirty. This is about a week's worth of not washing, which is typically my favorite to style up hairstyles with. Um, but I'm going to show you the down with this as well. This is kind of left over from curls that I've done throughout the week. And I have already, uh, yesterday I didn't do it today because I didn't need it, put in some powder into my roots because it does get very greasy. I don't use dry shampoo, it just costs too much and if you rub it in enough you won't see that. So um, the things you're going to need are a set of hot rollers. The ones that I use have large, medium, and small in there and I only use the medium and small ones. Um, I'm going to use some Elnet hairspray, a teasing brush, a comb to part your hair, a Denman brush, this does all work for you when you're styling pin up hairstyles, some bobby pins, a set of hair combs, and then like a flower and a scarf. I'm starting with the heavy side of my hair and I'm splitting that into three sections. The two top are gonna use medium rollers and then I use the small rollers to frame my face. Always tuck your ends, make sure they're tucked under and smoothed. And always roll underneath for pinup looks. This will help make that page boy just show up. I'm doing one at my crown and then I'm gonna snag these two sections in between my crown and my side curl. Now the back pieces, you may have more rollers than I do. I have thin hair, so I only have to split it into four sections. I let this cool while I do my makeup usually, so about an hour. Gotta get a little coffee. Pull these out and you'll see the hairstyle is already starting to take shape when you take those curlers out. So I'm fluffing up the top part of my hair and I'm using a Denman brush. You can see that in about 30 seconds this will, this style will just come to life with a brush and a hot roller set. So you don't need much, you just have to kind of shape it with your hands. Curl it under, tuck it behind your ear, and I give it one more brush in the back. And there you go. That's all it really takes to have pinup hair. Tucked it a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to do a side comb look. This is where I just part right by my ear. So I part that with my fingers lightly. And then I twist up. And then I kind of push up toward my head. You'll see I create a bump, but then I fix it. So right there, you just tuck it in. And you'll see there's a little errant hair. And then I see it. And all I do is just lift that comb and tuck it in. I'm going to do that same technique on the other side where I just split my hair kind of up by the ear, twist it up, give it just like a little half twist, and then I put the comb in. And I kind of shape things with my hands. You'll see a lot of pinup hair is shaped with your hands. So that's the second hairstyle. This is the third hairstyle. This is the first hair roll. I'm going to show you two hair rolls. I section it off and then I put the rest of my hair up in a ponytail and what I'm going to do is tease it right now once you get done teasing the inner layers you kind of brush a thin outer layer of hair over top of the teasing to try to hide it and try to smooth the outer layer without brushing too hard you can see there's a little bit of a bump in there, so I'm smoothing that out. And I'm going to grab it where it naturally wants to curl after you've put it in rollers like that and it wants to roll up and I just roll it around my fingers. There's a little bit more that was showing in the middle. So you just wrap it around your fingers and roll it right up. Once you put your hair in hot rollers and if you have dirty hair, the style really wants to do itself. So I'm going to leave my finger in there and then put a bobby pin in. and just attach that to the hair that's on my head. And then I kind of smooth out the end of that roll so it lays flat against my head and then I give it a little hairspray. And if you want to put on a hair scarf, just tuck the two pointy ends in toward the middle to the, to the width of scarf you want. Tie a little bow. And then if you want it to stay a little bit longer, put in some bobby pins. Now the second roll I'm going to show you is much bigger. 
Uh, it's not bumper bangs, but it kind of gives you that effect a little bit more. So I'm going to really tease it up. The dirtier the hair, the better. This has been about seven days before since my last shampoo with this hair. So I get a nice big tease. And I'm going to kind of swoop it across my forehead, tucking anything under. And you'll see I'm kind of forming a little curl that I can attach to my head with a bobby pin. Now if you have clean hair, this is not going to work. You'll see how much I fiddle with it, brushing it to make sure it's smooth. I didn't speed this up or cut too much out, that way you could kind of see exactly how much fiddling it takes. But it doesn't take that much to have a really cool hairstyle. This one's a bit more ostentatious than the other one. This one's a bit more loud. And I tuck that in to the hair on my head, and then I make sure I just kind of shape it with my hands, tuck it under where I have some striped pieces of hair. And then I would spray the top of this, and then I also spray underneath the hair. I lift it and spray it. And again, you can add a scarf to this look. You can wear your hair up or down. I just don't have a lot of hair, so these are kind of up hairstyles for me is what I consider. I'm going to show you a bonus fifth hairstyle because I forgot to show you the hair flower in the first two. So what I'm doing, I'm leaving my hair in that bigger roll and then I'm just adding the side combs again. This is a little bit fluffier of a curl. I just kind of fluffed the curl out with my hand instead of shaped it with the Denman brush. And then I added a hair flower. And there's five quick pin-up hairstyles. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.